What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Thanks to those of you watching on IGTV, watching on YouTube, listening on Alexa, or Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Today we're gonna to be talking about a little WordPress web design and development tip for those of you either developers or non-technical WordPress content managers out there who wanna do a little bit more than just manage content. So a great tool that we use for a lot of particular types of clients is GoDaddy Managed WordPress Hosting. Now there's also Bluehost, there's also WP Engine, there's HostGator, there's various, probably dozen or so various managed WordPress hosts. Now, of course, there's reasons why you wouldn't want to go with managed, but one of the reasons why you would want to go with managed is because if you have a small team that doesn't have a lot of resources to spend on hosting support, you can get a lot of benefit out of a managed host that updates your WordPress core for you, keeps nightly backups, and it's very, very cost effective. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a staging server for your GoDaddy managed WordPress account. It's super easy. Now the reason you would wanna create a staging server is because you might want to try something new on your website. You might wanna redesign your website and you might wanna do some trial and error on a staging server that's not your live site. One recent reason why I wanted to create a staging server for our site is because I wanted to try what Gutenberg would look like with the current theme that we have on our website. So let me show you how to create a staging server in your GoDaddy managed WordPress account. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna log in to your GoDaddy managed WordPress account. You're gonna find your site and you'll see the name of your site. You'll click on it and then you'll scroll down to where you see staging and you'll click enable staging, create staging site. And then you'll say clone from production. It'll also give you the option to copy the site design. It'll just copy the theme, plugins and users, but not all of the data. So I would recommend cloning from production. Then just click the blue create button and in about the next sometimes two hours, sometimes 12 hours, you will have your very own staging environment. It'll come at uh, kind of a nondescript URL. It'll be uh, a pretty um, not, not user-friendly URL to remember, so, uh, but it'll be accessed through the back end of your managed host. So then every time you go back in to the same screen, to access your website and you click on staging, you will see the ability to go directly into your WP admin of your staging environment and try some stuff out there. Hopefully this has been helpful for anyone out there who's a scrappy marketer uh, looking for WordPress tips and looking to try some content or some design offline off of your live site. This is a great way to do it. Practice practice, practice. Even though Alan Iverson didn't like practice, this is good so that you don't mess up your live website. Thanks again, everybody. For more information, check out dataoveropinions.com. There's great content there. And if you haven't gotten our Alexa skill, our Alexa flash briefing skill yet, go to datadrivendaily.com to add that to your Alexa flash briefing. I'm Paul Hickey. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Have a great day.